fifth grade. Are you ready to do some more math learning? Let's get started. Today, we will use properties of operations to evaluate expressions with parentheses, brackets, and braces in order to solve real world problems. Let's think about it. How can we use the order of operations to evaluate this numerical expression shown below? Step one of the order of operations is to identify any grouping symbols within the numerical expression. You're going to be looking for parentheses, brackets, or braces. Grouping symbols may be nested inside of each other, and when they are nested, you just have to simplify from the innermost set to the outermost set. The second step in the order of operations is to identify any exponents. You might remember from Unit 1 that exponents tell us how many times the base number is a factor. In fifth grade, you may not see many examples of using exponents in the order of operations, but it is important to know that that is the actual second step of the process. Step three is to solve any problems with multiplication or division. You're gonna look for the section that has multiplication or division, whichever one comes first from left to right, that's the part that you're gonna solve. And lastly, step four is to look for any addition or subtraction parts in the numerical expression. And again, you're gonna solve from left to right, whichever one comes first in the expression. By following the order of operations in these steps in the proper order, then all people who might evaluate the same numerical expression are going to be getting the same answer, which just like our problem from the think about it, that would have helped student A and student B. When evaluating numerical expressions using the order of operations, complete only one operation at a time and record your work for each step. Underline the operation that is to be completed at each step. You may consider organizing your work in rows to show how you simplify sections of the numerical expression. Great work today, fifth graders. You can watch this video as many times as you'd like to help you evaluate numerical expressions using the order of operations. Have a great day and stay safe.